Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Allison. How are you? I'm I'm great. As I said before we started, I'm just a normal person doing a very normal thing on a Friday morning, which is Absolutely. celebrating the one year anniversary of Lattes with Librarians. One year ago. I know. I can't believe it's been a whole year. That's no. just crazy to me. It's it was I don't think I ever envisioned us lasting this long. So one year yeah. is just amazing. It definitely seemed like it was going to be a summer, like a summer yeah. thing, maybe. Yeah. Um, it's not like I thought the pandemic would be over at the end of last summer, but just I did, like you said, could we sustain it? Um, <laughs> Do we have enough to talk about? Do people we've only care? Taken a few, we've only taken a few Fridays off. Really? Yeah, I was trying to think about like what Fridays we've taken off. It was like Christmas, like the Christmas. Yeah, we did two weeks of Christmas. Yeah. We did the the day after Thanksgiving. No, you. I think you guys still did it. Oh. I wasn't. I wasn't on. I maybe. I, maybe we did. I feel like you and Becky did it, but it doesn't matter. We've okay. barely taken any times off, and we managed to make it this far. So thank you, everybody, for watching us, and yes. thank you for continuing to watch us while we have all of this happening. Yeah, it's 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 been great. I. I know at first we were so nervous getting started with this and we didn't have any idea how it would go. And do you remember, <laughs> do you remember us trying to figure out the software and what was going wrong? <laughs> Many things were going wrong. I think, it, uh, wrong. yes, uh, we definitely, we still have things that go wrong. If people have not, uh, viewed the video posted on our Facebook page last night, Mary was kind enough to put together what I will call a highlight reel uh, <laughs> for show. Those, those, those weren't bloopers, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> they were, uh, it's quite a lot of technical difficulties, but you can watch a montage if you are so inclined. <laughs> all the technical, well, not even all of them because Mary uh, very kindly left out that one time where I was on here for a very long time by myself trying to wait for Leah to come back in. Cause I think Leah, that might've been the time when your internet just like completely went out yeah. and you had to like, <laughs> replug things back in. And uh, she kindly left out that stretch where I was just filling all that dead air. So it's not even all our technical difficulties, um, but you can relive all of that. But we, in the beginning, before we were ever even on, we spent about a week trying to figure out how to get to where we're at now. Um, yes. with it. And that, that was a host of many, many, and you can see from the very, very blurry beginning part of the video, we had first tried to do this like from work and it doesn't work for some reason going when we use the library's internet network. Um, I guess there's just not enough bandwidth for us. I think what we think it is, is that it has to pass through like the security of the library. Yeah. It has to pass through something that we don't have at home. And so by having to bounce through those things that brings the content down, it's like one extra step like at home, you and I don't have like the security that, uh, right. you know, the library has. So I think that that's what it is, is yeah. because you can do, you can do Facebook Live, which we're not yeah. doing. We're using separate software. You can do that fine from the library. So it's like one extra thing. I think we thought it was kind of like yeah. bouncing off the firewall. I don't. I don't know the terminology. But I, think I don't really it's either. It's, but there's something that happens, and the video gets so degraded because yeah. it's going through that extra layer yeah. that we just are a blurry, blurry mess. And yeah. Mary has very kindly posted the the highlight reel as yeah. Allison calls it there in the comments if you want to see it later if you missed it <laughs> um, but yes it was so we couldn't figure out what was happening and then we tried it from home and then it worked so it worked. but unfortunately you're working from home on Friday mornings so. right and unfortunately though when we first were trying it out too we we were using our own personal Facebook accounts as well and we were trying to go live but we did, the only way to test it at that point in time is to go live on your actual Facebook. So it'd be me and Leah. And then we did it. We did it on each of ours, I think. And then you would suddenly yeah. see like the people in your life tuning in to watch your Facebook live. And we'd be like, don't watch this. Forget about it. Don't just watch this. We're just trying to figure it. out software. We're not here. Um, and then like that one time when we wanted to like announce lattes with librarians, the only way to do it was to just post a video on the page. And we were, we were very nervous. And when I was watching that video that Mary made from our first day, I can tell 
like I'm, I'm just a lot stiffer. I'm a lot stiffer in that first video. I, I, I noticed it. It's not like it's a ter you know, terrible or outlandish, but just I noticed that I'm a lot like a lot less relaxed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I've gotten much more relaxed as we've gone on. It's I don't know. It's it's fun just getting here. You and I talk on the phone constantly. Our, our jobs, we, we, we need to talk to each other. Right. And often we will our conversation will turn into something different. And it's mm -hmm. gotten to be this Friday mornings just like that. Like right. when you're talking to you and the conversation yeah. just naturally flows. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's been good. But in the beginning, do you remember when we met, when we met to talk about it, we met in the gazebo at the Northwest branch because we didn't want to be inside together and have a discussion, have a discussion close up because of COVID. So we met in the gazebo and um, you guys, we initially, like we're trying to figure out what to do. And my, I wanted us to have like a script and I wanted us to have like, um, segments that we did. I wanted to be like, we're going to do, we do like these specific segments and then, you know, like present this stuff. And I, yeah, I wanted transitions were so important to me, especially in that first episode, but I wanted them all the time. I wanted to know, like I wanted Leah to say something, which meant that then I was going to be the next person to talk. <laughs> you can tell that this, this has changed. And now we just interrupt each other and shout. But in my mind, I just, I wanted it to be really, I wanted it to be more controlled. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually think your ideas for the different segments were fabulous. And I don't know why we didn't pursue those because, and I know that like we tried there for a little while. We're like, Oh, what cup are you using today? Cause you have a bachelor. Yeah. Well, that's, right. that's right. Our mug yeah. of the day. And I was gonna like show off some of my ducks yeah. and like yeah, we were we had lots of plans for different segments that we just never we were gonna challenge each other to do things and then like yes and like, read different challenge. kinds of books or you were gonna yeah. challenge me to read a make a recipe from a cookbook and I yes, was gonna, that's right. And we were yes, it was like you had to check out a cookbook, make a recipe, and like report back on it. We were gonna mm -hmm. do things. So um, if anybody has any ideas or has going forward something that you'd like to see on the show or what we'll, we'll see we'll see what we can yeah. do Who promises yeah. because they were our ideas and we still didn't do them um <laughs> now that we're in it a year i think it just kind of was like every week was like okay okay like i think we couldn't quite wrap our brains around like doing something so involved but now we've been doing it for a year so maybe we could and i think i think now it would also be easier to like because we're more relaxed yeah just like start off like we're doing this segment. This segment. Start and it was so stilted. I don't know yeah. if you, who who among our viewers has uh, watched Thirty Rock, but there's just a scene where Jack's trying to film something, and Jack is very bad on camera. That's Alec Baldwin's character, and uh, he keeps messing everything up. But part of his problem is he doesn't know what to do with his hands, and so he's holding a coffee mug, and he's like, "Well, maybe I should should I hold two coffee mugs?" Which is obviously ridiculous and a ridiculous way for him to be like speaking in this like promotional video or whatever. But that's how I, how I felt before we were starting this. Like, I needed to be told exactly what to do the entire time, and I needed some. I needed I needed the safety of a coffee mug in each hand so that I didn't flub. Um, and now that I don't feel that way about it anymore, there may be a little bit more leeway to do other stuff. Yeah. And we're always looking for ideas and suggestions. So please, if you've got them, throw yeah. them in the comments there. However, keeping in mind the limitations of our software, which do yes. not allow us to share any type of video or screen and the two of us at the same time. Because I think that was part of part of the idea too. It's like, oh, and then we'll mm -hmm. like show this, but we can't have both me and Leah and a third thing on here. So that's part of it yeah. too. Because that was one of the selling points of the software is that you could share video and do that kind of thing. Yeah. Awesome. But only one, one of us can share that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway. So it does look like they've made some adjustments to the software and some improvements yeah. that we haven't yes. had time to investigate. So maybe. Things may continue to grow and improve. I mean, they only, you would imagine that they would just given the, the new landscape of <laughs> people needing to use stuff online. Um, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> um, oh, I think Mary posted Jack Don again, not knowing what to do with her, his hand. So hopefully you please do that. Um, that is how I felt. That's exactly what it was. I was sitting there before this came out with Leah and I was saying, okay, but like, what's our segue? Like, so when you say this, is that when I say that? <laughs> so, that's what I'm doing Hi, Bernadette. 
So is it now, speaking of transitions, is now an okay time to say what else we're celebrating today? Yeah, of course. <laughs> today is National Donut Day, which as I said in our first episode, I'll just repeat it. I celebrate with gusto, but last year I forgot about because we were doing this. And yeah. also I think I didn't realize for some reason, I didn't realize that it was always the first Friday in June. I think I always thought it was a specific date and never put it together that that date was always falling on a Friday and it was different every yeah. year. Um, yeah. so, so it's National Donut Day. We've come full circle. Like we a donut. Our yeah. very first episode was National Donut Day, and today our anniversary is National Donut Day. I didn't think of we've come full circle. Like a donut, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> no, it's painful, yeah. but hilarious. I'm all for the the the, the puns. So we, do. we have our celebratory donuts. We do. I have mine right here. Oh, I I already put my candle in mine. Okay, I'm. I have not figured out how to do that. Man, I asked I for one. Shoved. Yeah, I asked for one with sprinkles, but they didn't have one. So, but <laughs> actually, glazed with chocolate icing is my favorite. Oh, my my lighter. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I have matches, which is probably going to be a hilarious mishap. I hope this doesn't go viral because two right? dummies burned down their houses while trying to light donut candles on the one year anniversary of their library show. <laughs> You got it? I got it. Okay. You ready? Yep. So we will light the candle. Here, here I am trying to control the situation. We will light the candle, blow it out, and then that's that? Um, there's not really a anniversary song, so. No, we, we never came up with a theme song. Thank goodness. <laughs> we welcome everybody that we did not design ourselves a theme song. Um, can you even imagine? All right, it is lit. It is lit. I have a fan on. If I oh no, the <laughs> fan keeps year. blowing out my candle. All right. Well, happy one year. Happy one year, Allison. It's been a very fun, entertaining year with you. <laughs> it has. It has. And Leah, uh -huh. and I have, uh -huh. and I have oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Nice. Thank you for being here with us, you guys. Thank you for being here for a year with us and hanging out and having you in the comments live has certainly um, propelled the show forward. If we had no commenters, we probably, you know, uh, yes. be less this excited. That would be a great reason to go viral. Liz, you want us to burn our house down? No. <laughs> um, and also, Thank you, though, for the people we know that people watch who aren't live as well because we see yeah. the view counts. So thank you also for Tuning sticking with us. You know, it's great to think that you might be watching this in the background while you're making dinner on Saturday or whatever. I don't, I don't know when people watch. Feel free to leave <laughs> a comment, too. Um, maybe it's all bots. I don't know. Uh, but I know my mom watches it later. So there you go. She's a loyal viewer. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of the donut on camera because we've been doing it for a year and I have no longer the shame, so. Okay. <laughs> I guess Very I good. Should I'm gonna wait until you're done chewing so you can talk while I'm eating so that there's not just dead air while we're both chewing. That's um, fair. All right. I, I love it. Okay, my turn. My, my donuts from Donut World, we've discussed this on here before, but um, Donut World was the Donut place of my childhood. Also Jolly Pirate, but we don't have a Jolly Pirate anymore. So um, please with chocolate icing, definitely my favorite. Uh, and uh, like I said, they were out of ones with sprinkles though, because I thought the sprinkles would be like the better effect. Um, oh, that is a wonderful idea. Yes. What case with librarians t-shirts. Swag with our t-shirts on it. Um, I don't think you want our faces, but some kind of we should totally come up with some kind of branding and um, a theme song. I kind of do want our faces on it, but I want it to be like a caricature portrait of our faces. Yes, I don't want a photo of my face, but maybe if we could get a caricature artist. <laughs> uh, <laughs> merch for our second year anniversary. <laughs> Man. Yeah, but I really do. And I, my favorite thing to do on here really is talk yes. books, honestly. Like I love I, I love hanging out, I love chatting, but I really do love 
and uh, I love talking about books. I love all the the suggestions in the comments and people mm -hmm. sharing books that they love with each other. I mean, they're sharing them yeah. with us too, but they're sharing them with each other. Like a person in the comments will talk about this person, this book, and someone's yeah. else like, "Oh, I've read it. It's fabulous." That yeah. that interaction between all of us is what I really, really love. Yes. That is definitely, I would say, the best part because. I don't know. It's just, it's fun to see people, it's fun to see people connect. And it's like, especially in a year when we hadn't been able to see each other in person, it was really nice to just have, have something. But yeah, I love it when people are like, oh, I read that. You should read this one next. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I just remembered something else about Donut Day. I'm sorry. Um, I saw online, I have no more information. It's a, you have to enter a contest to be one of the f lucky few to try these. Oh. But apparently, DiGiorno is making a DiGiornut and they okay. unveiled it today. And as best I can tell, it's like, it's like a savory donut with melted cheese on it. I don't really see any sauce and it doesn't look like it's filled with sauce, which at some point you've just made like a calzone or a stromboli or something, but it does have a hole in the middle. And it was just funny because on Twitter yesterday, um, I was, Googling about National Donut Day. And um, I saw a post from DiGiorno about DiGiornuts and they had it like all like faded out and fuzzy, like the big reveal hadn't happened yet. And then this morning they revealed it and it really kind of doesn't look that exciting, but just, I kind of appreciated the name DiGiornut though. DiGiornut is definitely a fun name, but I just, yeah. I don't know if I can get behind a pizza company making a donut. That just, yeah. I mean, and I think it would probably just be like the worst version of like cheesy bread or something. Mm -hmm. Too much bread, not enough cheese, too thick. I, yeah, there is a ring of sauce like through it. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I wasn't super into it, but uh, you know, how can you pass up the name DiGiorno? They had to do had to do it. I'm sure. Well, you mentioned that you got your donuts at Donut World. I wanted to say that I got my donut at Gypsy Joe's because. Nice. They're on my side of town. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Easy to get to. And I got free. I, I went ahead and I got half a dozen donuts because mm -hmm. I'm not going to eat half a dozen. I'm going to take the leftovers to work. But um, they threw in an extra one for free because it's National Donut Day. Yeah. I, I was hoping my donut would be free. I didn't ask. Um, <laughs> you know, someone comes through the, you know, I, I'm getting, I got a single donut. So <laughs> maybe that's the difference. Yeah. I was going to bring them into work. But we actually had, we celebrated someone's birthday yesterday and we actually currently also have donuts at work. And I decided that the thing is that the only downside to donuts is they're kind of ephemeral, ephemeral. They're good that day, sometimes the next. The ones we have at work are also really good. They're not from in town. They're in their cake donuts. And so they kind of, I feel like cake donuts get, you get an extra day out of, but we're not going to, no, it was too many donuts, uh, yeah. which I, you wouldn't think I would ever say, but just they're only good for a certain amount of time. They they are it's you know even like cupcakes and cake last longer. There's yeah. just something about donuts that you've got one maybe two good days. Right. And they're, yeah. they're not good. It's the beauty of a donut, really. You know, it doesn't yeah. last forever. You have to enjoy it in the moment. And it's like the cherry blossom. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So uh, one more thing about donuts, but transitioning as I like to do in the books. Um, I did see this is this book is not out yet. I think it comes out in September. I forgot to write that part down. Um, but I saw like a contemporary romance with the title Donut Do Not Fall in Love. Donut Fall in Love was the title. <laughs> and I thought that was appropriate for today. I like I said, I think it comes out in September. The author is Jackie Lau, and I did not write down, I I just didn't write down what it was about. Just imagine it. I think there's a bakery, I think there's a man, I think there's a woman, and I think she you think there's a man, you think there's a woman. And I actually, actually, I did read it, but I didn't write it down. And I think she teaches him to bake for a celebrity baking television show. Like he's going to be on a, I think a celebrity edition of Baking Fails. Okay. Whatever. And so anyway, um, the author is Jackie Lau. And so I'd never heard of her. So I looked at her website just to see, had she done anything else, whatever. Um, and just some of the titles of the other books that she's written. One was called... Uh, his grumpy childhood friend. One, <laughs> one was they're all romances. That one had had like the man on the shirtless man on the cover. Okay. The other one with the shirtless man on the cover, Mr. Hotshot CEO. Mm -hmm. And then another one with the shirtless man on the cover, 
the ultimate pie day party, like pie day 3.14. Yes. And, um, I read that she, before writing, was an engineer. So I don't know. It was just, it just was really funny to me. We've talked about the titles of romances and the covers before. And so uh, his grumpy childhood friend, ultimate pie day party. Um, and now donut fall in love. But this one it has a contemporary romance cover of like the cartoon people and that okay, yeah. so from the cover, yeah, <laughs> you don't know. The other books, it was very clear what you were reading. Yeah. Um, I wanted to mention you were you're talking about books, so I'll just jump in. And um, last week I mentioned a book, My Lovely Wife by um, Samantha Downing. And I said that it looked like, you know, yeah, maybe a funny serial killer book. Yeah, because uh, the the review the review that I read kind of, you know, it kind of indicated that there was some funny stuff happening. It was not a funny book. I, I went ahead and I read it um, because I said I would report back, and because it yeah. was good. Um, it was good, but it was definitely not funny. There are some elements that are just absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Maybe absurd is a better word than ridiculous. Um, yeah. Like, there's this couple. Um, they kill people. That's kind of like their thing. Um, it's what it's what they do. But they've also got children, and like the one child is like ter terrified because one of the bodies of their victims gets discovered, and um, it's all told from the, the man's perspective, and he's like what's going on? I thought we, you know, thought we had this figured out. Yeah. Um, and they make it sound like a ser a different serial killer has come back to town. Oh. And so like their teenage daughter is terrified of the serial killer that's on the loose. And like the parents are there comforting her. And, <laughs> you know, they are in fact the serial killer that's on the loose. And so there are elements to it that are, absolutely ridiculous and, yeah but it's not at all funny um okay but, <laughs> but if you liked that that twisty turny what is happening mm -hmm. kind of story where trying to guess the end like you kind of guess the end but how you get there it's just you never see it coming okay if you like that kind of book like a yeah. um like if Gone Girl was something you liked, mm -hmm. you would like this book. It's, yeah. it's it's a slow build, but once you get towards the end, things start happening quickly. So it's like, what? So yeah, if you're a fan of Gone Girl, I would recommend My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. My Lovely Wife. Yes. I'm writing it down as I always do. And as I always say on a piece of paper, I will be here to lose. <laughs> So I said it's a slow build, so 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 give it give it a little while. Yeah. Okay. That sounds really interesting about them being the serial killers and like comforting their children. Yeah. 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 And like the, the the dad gets um is being um the son is bribing the father because the son catches the dad going in and out of the house at night, sneaking in and out, and assumes that he's having an affair. And while the wife knows exactly what he's doing, he can't think of a good explanation to give yeah. his son, so he just goes along with it and lets the son bribe him. I mean, like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so I read, I have two, bo two books to mention. I'll do the first one. Um, I read The Other Black Girl, which came out this week oh, by yeah. Zakia Delilah Harris, if I can read my handwriting. Mm -hmm. um, and just that made me think of this because you're like, if you like this, you'll like that. Um, this, I kind of feel like, do you remember the book that we mentioned earlier this year, Who is Maude Dixon? And um, oh, yeah. I kind of remind you of that identity. because, yes, it's a thriller. Well, I'm. It's set in the publishing world. It's a suspenseful book set in the publishing landscape about a young woman. Um, and so it is if Gordon Peele perhaps wrote a version of Who Is Maude Dixon because um, it has slightly more of a, well, I'm going to call it supernatural bent to it. I, that's not quite the right word, but it's not just a straight thriller, you know, what's going on here? And there's a very simple answer. Um, but uh, 
And it, but like I said, it's set in the publishing industry. So there's like that, that whole thread to it, which is interesting for a lot of people who like to read books, you know, just wondering what is this really like behind the scenes? And then of course it talks about what it's like to be the only person of color in one of any workplaces, but the woman who wrote this did work in publishing for many years um, or in the context of this book, what it's like to be one of only two and what that, a, a little thought experiment on what that might mean. And so I did enjoy that. It came out this week. So I don't have a copy of it, but um, it's called The Other Black Girl. Um, and I have one more. Can I mention one more? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I read this one, uh, Outlawed by Anna North. This is the one oh. that was in uh, the lockers for me, like the week they opened. And I was under the impression I had just forever to pick it up. And it turns out I don't. Um, so five days, days. <laughs> um, which is reasonable, I think. Yeah, uh, I just didn't open it up. Um, and this is a great example of like how a lot of times you can look at a cover and say, okay, so this is a Western about lady cowboys, right? That, and that is what it's about. Um, but it was, it's not that long. Um, and it was, I really enjoyed it. It was about, um, a group of outlawed women and they are all women who have left their towns, uh, out West because mainly because they are barren, uh, they can't have children and, mm -hmm they're being blamed for like other people not being able to have children. They're like a, or they're like kicked out of the family by their husbands and their husband's families. Um, and so they've chosen this outlaw life. And um, I really, I really enjoyed it. Um, How do they know it's the women, not the, not the men? Because it's the 1800s and that's what they did. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, because the main, I know. And the main character's mother was a midwife. And so she knows Nobody knows what causes someone to be infertile, but the mother, her mother as a midwife knows that it's not just automatically, it's no one's fault and that it's also not automatically just a woman who can't. And so, but without the proper evidence of this is what's actually causing it, people need yeah. to fill that gap with something and they tend to fill it with something like witchcraft or blame. And it is set in a slightly, I should say it's set in a slightly alternate history there's not much to it. It's not like they've built this whole landscape of like a different world and different things that have happened. But um, after the civil war, there was a great flu that killed a lot of people. And what is left is the people here and they always are referencing the great, the great flu. And okay. so it is, I think you're supposed to think that there is also a slightly different mindset among the people. I'm not sure in the real West people were being ousted as witches um, at the rate that they are in this book. But um, I think a lot of that has to do with the decimation that came from this great flu. But it really is more about them as as outlaws and as people. And I really enjoyed it. So I recommend that if you like a sort of gender bending and thoughtful um, exploration of those issues. And also if you like a Western, because it was that. There's riding horses, there's shooting people, there's holding up banks. <laughs> so you've got to love a good bank robbery. Yeah. And is it the is it the outlawed barren women who are robbing the bank? Okay, good for the outlaws. Yeah. <laughs> can I can I open my present? Oh shoot, I forgot. Yes, I got Leah a present, a, a one year anniversary, anniversary present. present. <laughs> I completely forgot. How could you forget? I'm so excited. I've been, been dying to open it since she gave it. She gave I know, it and I'm going to clarify. Time. I bought myself the same thing, so I'm not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing when I got you the coffee mug. I got myself the same thing. So All right. Let's see what it is. <gasps> it's a it's a Queen of Hearts pen. No, How it's it? a, oh, it's a Queen of Books pen. Oh, she does have a book. Sorry, I was I was looking. I am wearing my contacts today, and when I wear my contacts, I have to wear my reading glasses oh, no. because they don't do both. So the the, the close up stuff is hard. It's the Queen of Hearts, like a deck of, from a deck of cards, but she's holding a she's book. holding a book, and the symbol under the 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 Queen is in fact a book, yes. not a heart. So, so she's holding up a book and reading it, and it is the Queen of Books pen. So I got us each one, so we can. Each I love it. Books, <laughs> and we both collect 
enamel pins we about do. reading stuff. So that is perfect. I do yes. not have that one. So that it's is awesome. good. Good. I did kind of wonder that, like, well, what if she already has this? Well, too bad. Um, <laughs> and if we did this at work, which we were initially going to, and we were going to do this at work and we we're going to like take you on tours of stuff happening at the library since you couldn't yeah. come in. We had, we had a whole different plan. Um, you would see each of our, you, well, you'd see Leah's duck collection for sure. But behind me, what you would see is that I have a corkboard wall and that's where I keep all my, all my pins. So you would see that in person, but yes. Well, we're going to have to figure out how to do maybe one week when like the other one isn't here. Yeah. We could pre-record pre -record where we've got some video of yes. different things in the library. Well, that's it's a like, good idea. Because one person can share video. Yeah. That would be that would be interesting. Although it would be very awkward, and it is very awkward being on here alone without the other yeah. person to talk to. Because yeah, just, yeah, it's very. Well, although it's especially awkward when you don't know if you're the one who's still on. I know. <laughs> I was trying to explain that to my brother. Video. Yes, I was trying to explain that to my brother last night because he watched our highlight reel, and I was like, the thing is, is we never know what we see. We continue to see ourselves animated and talking, and the other person frozen regardless of which one of us is frozen so you yes. just have to keep going you have to keep going as if you're the one that's live because you don't know if you are or not and it happens to me so much more often mm -hmm. that i always kind of assume it's me and you see in the one thing where i'm like i've gone i've frozen again I know. <laughs> you know, i'm not the one who's frozen it was out i know i know how yeah, fun it just, it just yeah, maybe. so much more Maybe we can do, we could also do something where we pre-record and then just, we don't have a live one, but we drop it at 1030 on a Friday if to do something in the, if we wanted to do something in the library, because yeah. it is, it is, I imagine weird to be the only person on yeah. Or you could hop on, say good morning and get it started, yeah. go to the video wow. and then come back and like answer questions about like the process or something that's like true. the things that happen in North, like in your yeah. department, because that is, that's something people never see. That's true. They never do. And whenever uh, they have at Northwest back in the age of in-person story time, we would have Halloween parties and they would, mm -hmm. kids would, and they do a little like costume parade and they yeah. get prizes, little racers and things like that. And we would get to hand stuff out. They would like do like a whole thing of the branch. And so, you know, you give them a pencil or whatever they'd come, but they'd come back through and visit my office and visit this workstations back there. And in those circumstances, the parents were always very excited for that portion of the costume parade because they're like, oh, wow, I've never been back here before. So um, we'll look at all these brand new books. Yes. So we started to, they started to incorporate like a tour Mm -hmm. for different, you know, if there was like a, you know, a group of people coming, you know, or a homeschool group, you know, they would just say, yeah. like, you know, if you want to do more of the branch, and so then they come back and, you know, like I said, the kids are kind of like, it's just more library, but it's the, the right, parents. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm always excited to go out there. And it's like, I order all of those books. So like, I know what, what's coming. Right. I'm so excited to like see them in person and touch them. And I'm, yeah. I don't think I've ever gone there where I haven't been like, Allison, can you catalog this one real quick so I can take it? Right. right. <laughs> and you see them, like, yet you, you select them and you read about them and you know everything that's coming, but you do it so far out too. Yeah. That like, yeah. It's kind of so many other books have come across your desk before that one actually comes in. You know, I know that the other black girl was on the cover of like one of our promotional catalogs or whatever, you know, I think in February. I think in February is so that's, you know, you, you're used to seeing it. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's not out yet. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. Like sometimes I'm, I'm very surprised. I'll talk about a book. I think like in December, I was talking about the final book in um, the, the Evie Brown, the, yeah. the Brown Sisters romance series. Mm -hmm. um, I was talking about the third book as if it was already out because yeah. that's when I had ordered it. And yeah. it didn't come out until like this spring sometime. Yeah. But if you go back and listen to that video, yeah. it just came out. No, it didn't just come out. I just ordered it. There's a difference. <laughs> And right. I forget that all the time. Right. I just kind of assume that, like, as soon as I order it, it's there. Yeah. 
But, but even when I do my job right, that's not usually the case. <laughs> so. It's more if I'm doing my job right, because there are definitely times when I'm behind and I'm, I'm ordering stuff like, oh, this comes out next week. I better I better order it now. Or, oh, this came out last week. It'd be a good time to order it. Um, <laughs> and I do that. Uh, unfortunately, I make that mistake more with nonfiction than with fiction. Well, but, I mean, you know, we keep up as best we can. Yeah. So <laughs> a lot of books. There's a lot of books, but um, but yeah, I get I get very yeah. confused about when things actually come out. <laughs> Hopefully, we can maybe do one of those behind the scenes things at some point. Yeah, I think um, that. Cool. Well, thank you everybody for being here with us today, Leah. We didn't do our poppers. I know. Do we want to do the poppers? Should we end on the poppers? Let's, let, let's. I told Leah this might be messy and she said, well, I've got a vacuum. So I guess she's going to come over here and vacuum my house too. Um, <laughs> so Just cover your coffee cup. Oh, right. You don't want to sacrifice the coffee. No. Okay. So we, I think we just turned, do we just turn the bottom? Are we going to like three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> That was awesome. It was fun. That was so much stuff, you guys. That was a lot more than I expected. I know. That was awesome. Oh I'm man. Sorry, my dog did not start barking at me because yeah, I'm really surprised. Well, happy one year. Happy thank one year you. anniversary, Allison. And, and to everybody who watches. Thank you so and much. Everyone. For thank you for tuning in. It's been a, a wonderful year. And yeah. Well, I will I, I will take that back. It's not been a wonderful year at all. Oh, well, now I lost Leah. <laughs> Classic way to end this. Um, but it has been a wonderful year of doing the show. And we really thank you for being here because it wouldn't be the same without you. You guys have a good week.